Hey guys, I want to talk to you about the college football national championship game, Ohio State versus Alabama in a heavyweight matchup. Um, the game is supposed to be played uh, this coming Monday. Uh, don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, uh, there's a talk of possibly the game being moved. Uh, don't know what's going to happen with that. So that's going to be um, yet to be seen, I guess, is uh, the uh, moral to the story. But, yeah, it's supposed to be played this Monday, January 11th, um, out in Miami. So uh, this is an interesting matchup when you look at it because you got Justin Fields and Ohio State Buckeyes uh, who absolutely gave it to Clemson. Uh, I don't think, uh, you know, the supporters of Clemson or uh, myself, uh, I didn't think that that would be happening. I thought Ohio State would cover, but they absolutely uh, destroyed Clemson. Uh, and uh, kudos to them for doing that. They did a, a nice job in the game. Uh, and then Alabama took care of Notre Dame with no problem. I think they absolutely let off the gas on Notre Dame. I think they could have scored 60 if they wanted. Uh, and I think they just chose to play conservatively. Uh, and then they had a little bit of sloppy play at the end, a couple drop balls, things of that nature, uh, which was lucky for me because I covered that game with Notre Dame backdoor covered late. So that was good. Um, but uh, – Anyway, when I look at this matchup, um, I see two dominant offenses, um, but I also see, uh, you know, two flawed defenses. So there's going to be a lot of points scored, obviously, in this game. Um, there's a lot of talk uh, about possibly the game being delayed uh, because of COVID. There's also a lot of accusations being thrown. Nick Saban's daughter came out and said um, – basically called Ohio State uh, Ohio State scared uh, and not ready to play and trying to buy time for Justin Fields to, to heal up a little bit more from his ribs, or from his rib injury that he sustained in the Clemson game, things of that nature. I, I, will, I will say this. I think that that was a mistake by Ohio State uh, if, in fact, the COVID cases are not legitimate. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I have no idea. I'm not going to even get into a debate about it. Uh, but I will say that them lobbying uh, to delay this game, I believe, is a mistake. Um, I think Alabama um, is a much significantly better team, much better team. Uh, and I think that uh, Alabama is going to put probably 65 points on them um, for sure. Uh, and the only way I see Ohio State being able to stay in this game is if Justin Fields can score on every single drive because I think that's what it's going to take. That's how powerful and how great the Alabama offense is. Uh, you got Jalen Waddle possibly coming back as well to pair with Devontae Smith. This is a problem. I, I just don't see any way in the world Ohio State stays close in this game. It's an eight-and-a-half point spread. I think they're going to get absolutely killed uh, in this game. Uh, and I also like the over. I mean, over is uh, somewhere around 70 right now, um, some crazy number like that. Uh, we'll see where it ends up. Uh, but whatever it is, guys, I like it. I don't care if it's 75. I like the over in this game. I think Alabama's going to score in the 60s by themselves. I think Ohio State will score still in the 30s, possibly even the 40s. Uh, it's going to be a really high-scoring game. But uh, they're just not going to be able to have an answer uh, for Alabama's offense. I think Alabama's going to uh, going to be a little bit too much for the Buckeyes, and uh, I see the Alabama Crimson Tide uh, being the national champions and uh, taking care of business. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Uh, be interested to know. But uh, yeah, I like Alabama to roll, roll tide. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think.